Hey everybody, it's JR. Today, I think I'm going to show you guys how to make a waste oil heater. Let me spin you around we'll get started. What I have here is an old Craftsman air compressor. Um, and I bought it at a yard sale or a junk shop or something, I don't even remember. Some place where my wife likes to go and get antiques. And uh, it didn't work. The uh, It could only build like 55 PSI and then the engine would just stall out. The pump would stall out. So the motor was good. And the tank was good, so I left it hanging around because I kind of thought I might put it on my big tank and use it as a... Uh, an auxiliary tank or, or maybe a water trap or something but uh as it gets colder out here you know you see I got my oven running which is fairly ineffectual I got this little guy this little mister heater propane deal which works okay but it kinda sucks so I got on the subject of waste oil heaters which I don't have an unlimited supply of waste oil but I think I can sort something out I do have a pan right there and a couple of gallons outside so um I'm really only in here on the weekends and the evenings I need like two hours worth of heat not even that an hour's worth of heat a day so I'm gonna see if I can make this into a uh, waste oil heater furnace um, I've seen a few videos of the guys doing it, running them and stuff, but I haven't really seen like this is how I did it and this sucks. There was one that I watched and, I, and now the guy's name, Jack of All Trades, he kind of went through some trial and error and, and showed that, which I appreciate. A lot of other guys didn't, they're just like, look at my waste oil furnace and it's working and isn't it great? Which isn't that helpful if you're like me and you don't really know. So. What I'm going to do, is I'm going to cut a 4 inch hole here, and a 4 inch hole on the other side. Uh, and one side will be my exhaust, and one side will be my flue. I kept where the valves and stuff go. Um, I kept all that stuff sitting over there, in case I need any of it to plug those holes or whatever. We'll see. As you can see, I got everything stripped off the top. So... Um, I'll just keep documenting this as it goes and, and show you guys how it works out for me. And maybe you can make your own waste oil heater and stay warm this winter and keep working on all your projects like like I have. And my wife has. So, yeah, I'll be back when I get these holes cut. And this is going to be over the course of a few days, but uh, or a few weeks probably. But I'm going to go ahead and cut these holes and probably end the video there. So we'll be back. I just wanted to show you guys real quick. I just took one of my cutoff wheels and marked around it for a four and a half inch hole. Um, I'm just going to come through here and cut and cut and cut until I take a bunch of uh, crossways from here to here, here to here. Until I have a bunch of little pie slices. Um, now you can just knock them out. I really don't know a good way to cut a circle with a grinder, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. I'm going to be back. So that's how I do it. And then, yeah, no, it's not round. I can go in with a die grinder and clean it up if I need to. I really don't think I do. Um, but we'll see. So I'm going to knock them down with my hammer and chisel like a caveman that's how I roll so this is where I'm at for the day uh, I welded some legs on it haphazardly and they're probably not all the same height um, I got a hole cut in each end even though you can't see the other end now that's not working uh, we're in toll I don't have any pipe I got all the motor stuff off, so once I find some pipe and a brake rotor, we'll be back on this. 
uh, for today I'm just gonna pick this stuff up and get it out of the way and be done so this is JR and we'll see you